Hey folks and war gamers, welcome back to a new let's play. Today it's Silent Heart 5 Battle for the Atlantic episode 3 and I hope you enjoy the show. So Silent Hunter 5 we're back again uh, finishing off. Uh, no we're not finishing off, starting where we last finishing off. And for some reason submarine was submerged in a dock. Don't know why. Let's see if we have some new equipment we can put on. Capcaline. Yes. Torpedo loadout. Sure thing. What yeah. do we have in mind? Not really keen on those electrical torpedo thingies. We want to need what we need is a bigger boat. So we're loading up the sub. Sure, what do you want? Sure, what do you want? Yes, once is enough, thank you. Uh, no, no upgrades. We need a new sub, definitely. Radar warning, hydrophone. Did we get that? No. Maybe I should get that. What do I have? Not much of a difference, though. 140 degrees. What's the total coverage? No, where's my emblem? Oh man. Thank you. Paint scheme, don't have a paint scheme. Oh, not much to do there. Yes, okay. Captain. You won't recognize your girl when I'm through with her. <laughs> Actually, she looks quite the same, except for the marking maybe. Which you haven't put on, so he looks exactly the same. Oh well. What's our assignment? Welcome back, Herkulon. Mission orders. Come in, Captain. Yes, and we've seen that already. And we still need a lot of thinking to do. What are you thinking about? Oh, I didn't get any from that. Oh well, just continue it here and try and avoid the uh, destroyers this time. So Welcome back, Herculon. Yes, yes, yes. Let's start the new patrol. Returning to All course. Stop. Half speed ahead. All stop. We're reaching course end. Bearing one nine. I can't understand why they insist on putting the periscope up. Down periscope. And ship sighted. Bearing two. Zero. Now for the regular planning, and we'll be back shortly. Here we have a crap ass patrol schedule set up. We're increasing the speed on the sub and we'll let's go to sea. Extreme speed ahead. Ship sighted bearing three, four, six. So we have our first contact and we're going to check that out. First we need to determine the determine where he's heading so we can intercept hopefully it's just a single freighter X always marks the spot so far we got no visual contact just sonar going parallel uh, mark not really used to controls yet let's see if we can sort of slide in on the side get him from behind we probably need to take him what how do we lose the sonar contact where the hell did he go? Oh shit. Hmm. Let's 
a surprise. Freighter usually aren't that fast. Oh well, we'll just have to give that up and continue our hunt in a bit more shallow waters. So we're returning to the course. So we got our second sonar contact. Well, it's night time, which is a main advantage for us. Let's see if we can catch this one. Sonar is pretty bad. Seeing as we were losing the contact all the time. Ship sighted, bearing five. There we got him. He's actually running towards us. Quite surprisingly, considering we aren't at rough sea, are we? No. No rough seas. There we got him. Let's check the UAC. Target locked. Let's establish a range. Impact should hopefully be there, and from there we have uh, 1500 meters, so we should have a good solution. And let's see if I can do this. Usually I suck at this. That's not the one I was looking for. Is it this one? I'm sort of trying to mm, tell what I'm supposed to do. Hundred and forty degree angle. I need to straighten sub up a bit, maybe. I don't want to end up with a million dud torpedoes again. Let's see what we can speed this up. Actually, we need to slow down a bit because we are apparently a lot faster than he is, and I don't want to get too close. way too fast. So let's just put it in two knots. Speed. <coughs> two knots should, should be sufficient. There we go. Let's see now if we can get a good firing solution. Apparently bad. I need to get into the periscope. It's attacking with the UAC is not a good idea. There we go. Not so high. And we're spotted. Target marked. Whoa. That's a bit too big. We're way too close. <laughs> Stop turning the goddamn periscope. Stop turning the periscope, damn it. Switching to salvo shooting. Closing tube four. Closing tube three. Switching to impact detonation only. Magnetic detonator switch. Well, let's see if this works. Probably not. I think I am way being the. This is not gonna work. No, the torpedoes bounce off. And now we're taking flag fire. K 
came way too close. Uh, we shall die to periscope depth. Also now we have the problem with um, with him targeting us. We need to full flank ahead. Extreme speed ahead. So this is uh, this is the way you don't want to engage, and it's also the drawback of using <laughs> speed, watching too much of the map. So that's two wasted torpedoes right there. And also he's taking evasive maneuvers what considering he yes. spotted us. So torpedoing him is now going to be a whole lot more trickier than it used to be. And in submerged mode, I can't just keep up with the freighter. Let's see. Distance is now 600 meters, so still be on within torpedo range. We'll see if we can get a salvo on him. in front of him and fire two, three, and two, four, that's probably going to be a fail because he's turning the other way it's a evasive maneuver I will see we'll see but if you can follow the torpedoes we'll see what happens so the sub is currently launched the torpedoes into the water hmm. where did they go the torpedoes vanished there's the freighter. Yeah, he's turning away, torpedo but the torpedo impact. hit. That's a good torpedo hit. Very, very good torpedo hit. Hopefully taking out his rudder and propeller. Not the propellers apparently, but the rudder. So the second torpedo failed to hit its target. He's a bit dead in the water, meaning we can get a good firing solution on him. Let's see, still up in 12 knots though. Very surprising. No, oh, that's not the one I want. That's the one I want. Where are we? This is the annoying part. Let's see, there he is. Could just probably finish me off with a deck gun. Two, three, ready. Yes, to save some ammunition, considering I wasted three torpedoes now. Uh, so let's surface the boat and take him out via deck gun. What? I didn't want to talk to the 
watch officer on the UAC. For God's sake, go away. Thank you. Tracking new target. Yes, track and fire. That's what you wanna do. Oh, I could actually use it up here. Totally missed that. Tune for ready. Why aren't you Nimcom poops firing? There we go. accuracy from my um, gunnery team uh, to take command myself but we got it in the long run so we're going to continue the patrol returning to cars extreme speed ahead So at the end of the f uh, that engagement and our new contact, it's time to end this episode and we'll continue our patrol in the fourth episode of Silent Hunter 5. I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, please hit the like button if you like this, it means a lot. And I will continue doing this uh, Silent Hunter once, even though it's uh, uh, pretty much uh, map making. But uh, as I said, please like this if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys around in the next episode of Silent Hunter 5.